Quite Interesting, more commonly known as QI, is a panel-based comedy TV show from the United Kingdom, renowned for its wealth of comedic panelists, intellectual questions, and clever jokes. But it's also famous for its seemingly random scoring system, where the panelists can often win with negative scores. I wanted to make sense of this and see if there was a pattern, so I rewatched all 182 episodes, recorded all the important data, and set about analysing it to see if there was a pattern. And after many weeks, countless tests and numerous models, I discovered that their scoring system had no pattern. However, I did build a tool to easily analyse the data, which you can use too. Here are a few quick and interesting insights that I found whilst using it. Out of the 132 panellists, Alan Davies has won the most, though that might be because he's been in all 182 episodes. But even with that, his win rate isn't too bad. He also owns the record for the lowest ever score, but also the highest, where they retroactively gave him back all the points he unfairly lost in previous seasons. The panellist who consistently performs the best is Sandy Togstig, winning 69% of the games she's played. This could explain why she's being picked to be Stephen Fry's replacement as host. Moving over to the panellist gender mix, there's an 80-20 split in favour of the males, though this is improving in recent seasons, getting closer to 70-30. And wisdom? does seem to come with age, as there is an upwards trend in the win rate the older the panellists are. And that's a quick taste of what you can find. Click here to use a tool and explore the data for yourselves. Let me know what insights you find or questions you have in the comments below. And if you like this video, like, comment and subscribe to the channel, and also check out the other things I've made. Like this interactive Game of Thrones fizz, looking at all the deaths within the show. Discovering what the most popular spoken words are in TED Talks or some mini insights from the tragic mass shootings data in the United States.